Hello, welcome to BioGrid TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Benjamin William Mkapa Mkapa was born on the 12th of November 1938 in Lupaso, near Masasi, Tanganyika. He graduated from Makerere University in Uganda in 1962 with a Bachelor of Arts in English. He then went on to study at Columbia University the following year and earned a master's degree in international affairs. Mkapa served as an administrative officer in Dodoma and was later the Minister for Science, Technology and Higher Education. He was the head of the Tanzanian Mission to Canada in 1982 and to the United States from 1983 to 1984. From 1977 to 1980, he was the Minister of Foreign Affairs. He also served in the same capacity from 1984 to 1990. In 1995, Mkapa was elected as president based on his popular anti-corruption campaign and his vibrant support for former president Julius Nyerere. His anti-corruption efforts included creating an open forum called the Presidential Commission on Corruption, also called the Warioba Commission. He also increased support for the Prevention of Corruption Bureau. He was re-elected and his second five-year term in office as president ended in December 2005. It was during his second term in office that he privatized state-owned corporations and instituted free market policies. The World Bank and International Monetary Fund loved his policies, and this eventually resulted in the cancellation of some of Tanzania's foreign debts. While he was in power, Nkapa's administration ruled with an iron hand. He particularly restricted the role of opposition parties, thereby discouraging democratic expressions in Tanzania. The self-acclaimed corruption fighter was criticized for some ineffectiveness in his anti-corruption efforts and worse still, his lavish spending. He spent £15 million on a private presidential jet as well as about £30 million on military aviation equipment from BAE Systems, which many believed was beyond the needs of the country's armed forces. Clara Short, the British International Development Secretary at the time, expressed public outrage over the purchase of military aviation equipment, resulting in her nickname, Mama Reda, in the Tanzanian press. After Mkapa left office, there were more corruption accusations against him. One of such was the claim that he improperly appropriated to himself and his former finance minister, Daniel Yuna, the lucrative Kiwira coal mine in the southern highlands of Tanzania without following lawful procedures. This was an outright violation of the Tanzanian constitution, which does not permit a president to do business at the state house. Mkapa served as a trustee of the Aga Khan University from 2007 to 2012. He wrote and published a memoir, precisely an autobiography, My Life, My Purpose, a Tanzanian President Remembers, a few months before his death. He reflects on his life from early childhood to retirement, the challenges he faced being born into a poverty-stricken environment, the advantage he had from his father's job in the church, his love life, friends and family, as well as the transformative power of education in his life. He testifies about his rise from a humble background to being an English language graduate, US trained diplomat, UK trained journalist and editor, as well as politician. In his autobiography, Mkapa confesses his deep regret over the 2001 killings of opposition protesters in Zanzibar and how he spent money from the central bank on party campaigns. This was money reserved to pay debts, according to him. 
he wished he had done more, such as setting up an independent elections commission in Tanzania, as the country keeps suffering for not having an electoral commission that is free and independent. Mukapa died on the 23rd of July 2020 while receiving medical care at a hospital in Dar es Salaam. Tanzanian President John Pombe Magufuli announced his death, after which he was laid to rest in his hometown, Lupaso Masasi. He was married to Anna Mkapa and they had two children. What have we missed out of this biography of Mkapa? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.